Today I'm going to show you how to use the artificial intelligence engine that powers ChatGPT to summarize, analyze, translate and do research on any article or news item that you find on the internet. I will be using a browser extension that's called Full Picture. Here you can see it listed on the Chrome Web Store, but you can also get it for Firefox, Opera, Safari and Edge. If you scroll down to the video description, you will get a download link for your browser. So let's see how it works. Suppose I found this article on the internet and I want to get some insights on it from the artificial intelligence. So let's click this icon to activate the browser extension. And as you can see, it offers me to generate a report on the article, either in English or Polish. This is because I speak Polish and my Windows user interface is in Polish, so it detects that. So uh, if you speak German or French or Spanish, you will also see your language listed here. But let's stick with English for a while and let's see how it works. When I click this button, it starts generating a report. And what is really interesting here is that as the report is being generated, you can already read the first sentences. So you don't need to wait until everything is generated. The first section here is article summary. And it uh, lists three major points from the article. So if you don't want to read the whole text or you don't have the time for it, or you need to uh, go through lots of text quickly, this is the section for you because you will always get three bullet points where the major talking points uh, are listed. So you don't need to read everything. You have a short version here. And uh, the next section is uh, article analysis. And it's uh, basically a report on general reliability of the article. So uh, here you can uh, see if the article is biased in some way. Is there any lack of balance? Can it be trusted? Does it present the issues well? Is there anything that it lacks? So yeah, that's quite a, a long section, but it gives you a general idea. And uh, when, you, when you look at this report, you can see that the artificial intelligence has picked on several points that are either lacking or underrepresented. So uh, you can hear in the title bar that the general conclusion is that the article appears strong imbalanced. Mm, you can actually click on this uh, little link here to get a more explanation of what this designation means. But yeah, I think you get a pretty good idea. And when you go through this analysis section, you will understand why. And the last section is uh, my favorite, where you can see some uh, research topics uh, that you can use uh, to understand all the issues presented in the article in more detail. Uh, so uh, whenever you click on this, this link, like maybe this one, you will get uh, a Google search uh, for this term and uh, you can uh, find and analyze uh, more articles here. So you can understand all the topics better. And what is really cool here is that every search result has it has its own link to the browser extension. And when you click it, you can perform the same analysis on the article that's linked. So you don't need to click every single article, read it and decide, but you can get a report on it just by using this little link. It all is meant to speed up your research and to uh, let you ingest lots of content quickly. So that's that's another feature that I like. And uh, here also we have an article in Chinese. I don't speak any Chinese, but I would like to understand what it says. So again, I can use the extension here. Uh, for some reason, it says that it's uh, it doesn't find any long form text on this page, which obviously 
wrong, there is lots of text. But let's try it anyway. We pick English again and we generate uh, a report on it and it works. So again, we get uh, an article summary. That's what interests me the most right now because like I said, I don't understand this article at all, but I would like to want, I like to know what it's about. So, so from this uh, three points, I can get a general idea what the article says. I don't need to put it through some translation service, which could introduce some errors. I see clearly what it is about. There's also another trick that, that I can use. Let's try this Wikipedia article for, for an, as an example. It's an article about World War II. It's a very long article, of course, because it's a very big topic. And it would make no sense to analyze it in full, of course. And you also cannot summarize it, the, the whole information about World War II in three bullet points. But I am interested in a little section here. And I want only to analyze this part. So what I can do is I can select the text. Let's scroll down till the end of the section. Yes. And um, when I click, okay, let's click on the selected text and there is a little option analyze select text. So when I use it, only the selection is going to be analyzed. Let's see how it works. So again, when I click the button, I can see the analyzers being generated. And it gives me, again, a summary and a, a topic analysis just of the selected text. So that's a very good tool to analyze portions of documents, portions of the text. Also, what I haven't shown you yet is that this little button that says download report. When I click it, uh, I get here an um, the Word document. And if I open it, it uh, shows all the text from this report in a document. I can copy and paste it. I can rework it. I can use it uh, in any other research. I can do whatever I want. I can also share it on, on social media if I want, but I'm not going to show you that. And the last thing is, uh, yeah, when I click any link here, again, I can see the option to analyze it with the browser extension. So again, I don't need to click through different articles that I found. I can actually use just this extension and analyze uh, the links. And if I see something that's interesting, if the summary or the analysis uh, gives me some, some points to consider, then I can click and read the, the article. So it saves me a lot of time because I don't need to go through all the content that I found. Okay, so that's, that's about it. That's how the extension works. I hope you find it as useful as I did. And again, in the video description, you can find all the links to different uh, browser versions of this extension. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a good day.